Hi everyone and welcome back to Teacher Zai. For today's episode, sagutan na po natin ang teacher reflection form for teacher 1 to 3. Okay, so ano bang parts ang meron ng ating TRF? Ayan, we have the teacher, the reader, date submitted, subject and grade level. So, for the direction, nakalagay dyan, reflect on your attainment of the RPMS objective by answering the questions or prompt provided. Use any local or official language that you are comfortable with. So, pwede po ang Filipino, pwede rin po ang English. Use extra sheet if needed. Please limit your response to 500 words. So, sa ating pong objective 9, nakalagay dyan, design, adopt, and implement teaching strategies that are responsive to learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents. Ayan. So, we have our prompt 1. Okay? So, for the context, ayan, sabi dito, Clara is often seen restless or unfocused in class. She also has troubles following instruction and skips activities when left unsupervised. So, yung action taken po natin is you had a conference with her parent and found out from them that Clara was diagnosed with a learning disability. Okay, so how will you modify the instruction for Clara to keep her focus on classroom activities? Then, write your reflection in this form. Okay, mention in your reflection a specific learning disability that you are familiar with or have research on. So, kung familiar po kayo sa ating mga learning disability, pwede nyo pong ilagay yan dito sa ating reflection form or pwede naman po kanyang mag-search. So, upon searching, ito po yung aking mga nakuha. And sa start po ng ating reflection, mas maganda po kung meron po tayo uh, nitong parang definition of terms. What is a learning disability all about? Okay, ayan. Halagay po sa akin, students who are learning disabled have a significant gap between their academic achievement and their intellectual activities in one or more of the following areas. Okay, so these are oral comprehension, listening comprehension, written expression, basic reading skills, reading comprehension, mathematical calculations, and more. And also, ayan, sabi naman, pwede tayong mag-research. According to an article published in Teacher Vision, the following are some of the most common indicators of learning challenge students. Ayan. So, rather than being isolated, most learning disabled students exhibit these qualities to varying degrees and intensities. A student with learning disability has a poor and short long-term auditory memory, low self-esteem, is frequently distracted, and finds it difficult, if not, is impossible. Ayan. So, to stay on target for long period of time. Ayan. So, um, according to my research, ito po yung na-experience ni Clara, which is restless and unfocused in class. So, Clara, for example, was restless and unable to concentrate in class. Actually, most students naman talaga halos ganun, di ba? Kaya nakalagay po dito, most students are naturally active, but hyperactive individuals are constantly moving from one task to another. So, usually po, yung mga hyperactive students, sila talaga yung mga restless at hindi makapag-concentrate in class. When you apply traditional teaching approach, they have problem paying attention in class. Kaya nagiging um, magulo po yung ating class. Eh. Okay, so that is why we must use additional strategies to engage hyperactive pupils on their own premise or on their own condition. So, the good news is that these strategies also make teaching more enjoyable. Ayan. Again, ito po ay inadapt ko lang din. Nakalagay naman po, design. We can design our own strategies or adopt. Okay? So, ayan. Clara can be encouraged to perform hands-on learning. Ayan po yung strategies na gagamitin ko. Because students learn best when they are actively involved in the process. 
We can't expect them to sit quietly at their desk while listening to the lecture and taking the test. That is too difficult for them because doing is always preferable to hearing. I'll turn Clara doing into learning activity. Ayan. So talaga naman yung kanilang um, active na paggalaw, ayan, hindi lang sa kung anong paraan nila gagamitin, but in learning activity. Because my subject is computer, ayan, or computer subjects, ayan, I may ask Clara to draw a computer component. That is a requirement of the curriculum. Dapat alam nila kung ano yung mga basic component of the computer. Ngayon kayo, kung ano po yung basic ng inyong subject or yung learning competency, pwede nyo pong ilagay dito. So, this is a great technique to teach essay writing and storytelling as well. Kasi once po na na-identify na nila yung mga different components of a computer, pwede na po silang maglagay ng sarili nilang uh, meaning based on their own understanding. So, Clara will be encouraged to assist her peers in cleaning the classroom. Ayan, nilagay ko rin po yan. So, makakaroon naman po or madedevelop yung kanilang teamwork, di ba? Usually naman, regular day talaga or part na ng ating school day, yung cleaning of your own desk, di ba? And also, Clara's parents should also engage in some hands-on learning with her. So, pwede po tayong magpauwi ng mga activities na kung saan pwedeng kasama yung parents nila. Okay? So, isa pa sa magandang example dito, for example, yung science subject. Diba? Instead na magbigay tayo ng mga picture of butterflies, diba? pwede natin sigurong i-advise with their parents na paglabas nila, maituro yung mga different butterflies na may kita. Ano nangyayari pag dumapo ito sa bulaklak? Diba? Yung ganun ba? Kumbaga, engage with parents and learner. So, in overall, I should not take myself so seriously as a teacher. Okay, I can help learning disabled students direct their enthusiasm in proper manner by using engaging teaching strategies. Okay? At ayan po ang sagot ko sa aking prompt 1. Now, it is your choice kung gusto nyong um, gawin basis to sa pagsagot ng inyong mga reflections. Next, we also have the prompt 2. Design a lesson plan for gifted and talented learners based on your idea on how they may address in your class. Okay, ayan. So, sa aking reflection, again, naglagay po ako ng um, what is learning disabled student all about. And on the latter part, nakalagay po to address the challenge in teaching students with learning disabilities, I'll create or I will create. Pero sig pwede siguro I create it an activity for this student. Okay? So, the students will require not only time and patience, but also unique teaching tactics delivered in an organized setting that supports and maximizes their learning potential. So, I'll be using the same lesson plan I used during my classroom observation. However, okay, I will also include another activity for students with learning disability. Ayan. Okay? So, ano ba? Ang sabi naman, pwede daw po tayong mag-attach ng additional sheet. Ayan. So, ito po yung Ami School, Balagtas National Agricultural High School. And this is the sample of activity sheet for Clara. Okay? Or for my student who have e-learning disability. Sabi ko doon sa aking uh, annotation or reflection is magpapadrawing ako ng basic component. Dito sa direction ko, draw the computer basic component in the box below. So, each computer component should be labeled. Ayan. So, pag nag-drawing dito ng computer parts, kailangan ma-identify ng bata. Ano yung mga parts na yun? For example, ayan ba yung monitor, keyboard, mouse? Okay po. Then, sa iba ba naman po? So, another direction based on the drawing you made. Yan, yung ginawa po ng ating estudyante. Write down the significance and function of each computer component based on your own understanding. Then, minimum po tayo ng 5 parts. Okay, so, naglagay po ako ng 5 dito. But, kung marami naman po kayo, ayan, pwede nyo pong dagdagan. Okay? 
So, ayan po yung pagsagot ng ating uh, TRF for Objective 9. Kung nakatulong sa inyo ang vlog na to, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell button para lagi kang updated sa mga posts ko. Thank you!